my multitudes. That blackened winter, we came down from the mountains, a ragtag end of the year collection of shepherds or wanderers that city tried hard to herd in the holding pens. My older sister escaped and fled to the forest, which was still burning and safe. Well, my younger brother or bother grabbed the spoon and started digging his way to China. I grew up in shambles, my pockets crammed with expired ration coupons. I was a safety hazard, a name spoken only in the dark. I learned to wear shame and call it the color of my skin. Saturday afternoon time wasters formed the basic staples of my ill-conceived diet. Famished youth, I fed myself on a rerun cycle of axe grinders, prison rats, corrupt corruptors, blackmailers, ruffians, embittered siblings, lone wolves, and every variety kept on the shelf of angry packs, delivered like candy to be gobbled because it released the burning sweetness as it went down. At school, I pretended to watch time droop, drop its noose into a simmering ocean until the screen flashed another enticing signal. Today, as a multiple personality adult in the need of more therapy, I try to keep track of babbling chestnuts and overflowing toilets to clap discreetly at the luminous pageantry of flashing lights, ambulances, and police cars especially. Don't any blips puddle up your screen, I hear you ask rudely. Are you wondering where our furry little scapegoat went and how we might go about getting another, I answer. How's this boatload of strife different from the last delivery, which you're still sorting through, whimper the cowed crowds filling my head. Today, amidst the crashing voices, my forlorn corpulent self stumbles down darkened lanes while my other bumpkins and bobbins grow more rowdy beneath the pagoda trees of the infested capital where the president is content to disguise himself. The mirror listens to his abbreviated confession. He believes he's been miscast as a petty bickerer rather than as a cheerful baker. Never one to glow in the dark. He relishes splendor only when it comes to him in designer packages. He's a self-made dam, an impregnable wall. Perhaps this is why you've come to me. Perhaps you're a restless nocturnal spirit looking for an outlet. Even as the planes soar overhead, their bomb bay doors flapping. What multiple, what multiplication system of bleeding have you refused, knowing better offers are a manufactured dream, a byproduct of our continuous distractions? Or perhaps you're another troubled twister who wants to make good. Is that why the words in me are beginning to break ground? Perhaps they're looking for a place to take root, shake off the dust surrounding them. Cold afternoon, transient enterprises cancel each other out in this world of shopkeepers and weakened hospitality. The wind settles into the trees, plump birds waiting to be plucked for their monetary value. It's nearly tomorrow. If you set your alarm as you know you should, have you considered how many other unheard singers are standing beside you in this corner of the incinerator?